Hello and welcome to another episode of One Pack Cast. This time, we are using Outdoor Retreat to make two outdoor enthusiasts. First off, I'd like to apologize for my tardiness in uploading. I had a pretty packed weekend. I managed to film this video, but couldn't get the voiceover in. So I am currently recording this on Monday when it was supposed to be posted, but it will instead be posted on Wednesday. And that's why we have the Wednesday slot for bonus videos or late videos in this case. Didn't realize that that was a good use for this Wednesday slot, but I'm glad that I left it open for this. We are now actually starting to use packs in this one pack cast series. And as I mentioned in the previous episode of this, I will be doing two episodes of Outdoor Retreat because Outdoor Retreat came with two very polar opposite personalities. It came with the outdoor enthusiast aspiration for, you know, the outdoorsman who will enjoy Outdoor Retreat, but it also came with the squeamish trait for people who maybe n won't enjoy that as much. So this time around, I made two outdoor enthusiasts who are very rugged and love the outdoors and make the most of the clothing that came with this pack. And then next week, I will be making two squeamish sims because I didn't want to pick one of the two sims, one of the two genders to be the squeamish one. And this way I get to experiment with different types of squeamish people. So that will be fun and you can check that out next week. Before I go any further into the recording, I'd like to address the possible background noise that you may be hearing. Um, if it sounds like a rocket is being launched from my house, that's because my parents and foreign exchange student are watching Mr. and Mrs. Smith while I'm trying to record this video tonight and the walls are very thin. So if you hear rumbling and stuff like that, just try to ignore it. I'm addressing it so that way there are no questions. Now with that out of the way, let me tell you about Ben and Ashley. Ben was pretty easy for me to make because I had a sim, not a sim, a person in my Pinterest board that I knew would fit perfectly with this. He was very muscular, very hairy, very tall, very just perfect outdoorsman in my mind. And so I knew going into it what I wanted to look like. It was just about the execution. Now, Ashley, however, was a lot trickier to figure out, especially since Outdoor Retreat didn't actually come with very many good outdoorsy clothing for women, at least not modern outdoorsy stuff. It's kind of more on the athletic side, less stylish, and I like to dress my sims based on Pinterest outfits that I see, and none of them were matching, and so I struggled a lot with Ashley, as you will eventually see when we start working on her. Overall, I think I'm just starting to feel really burnt out with making limited pack sims, especially with the packs that didn't come with much, like game packs, because it's starting to feel like I'm just making base game only sims over and over again, with maybe slight variation in the hair and style. So by the end of the creation of these sims, I was feeling really discouraged and almost considered not doing the squeamish sims and just skipping them. But then I realized, you know what? I'll make some squeamish sims. S shims? Sh <laughs> I'll make some squeamish sims and they will just be mostly dressed in base game, but that'll be fine. They'll be squeamish. That's, that's their purpose. I, you know, I, mm, uh, mm, mm. <laughs> There were so many outfits that I knew I could create using stuff from other packs and Outdoor Retreat, but that kind of defeats the purpose of Outdoor Retreat. Honestly, if you're gonna take anything from this video, maybe don't get Outdoor Retreat for the cast items unless you really like a hair or something like that. Or, you know, you like the squeamish trait and the outdoor enthusiast desperation and the gameplay of it all. But I wouldn't recommend Outdoor Retreat for the cast. I mainly only bought Outdoor Retreat because I had money to spend and I wanted access to the tent that I could use for rags to riches and stuff. I have actually never properly vacationed in Granite Falls. I've technically vacationed in Granite Falls, but only to get screenshots for thumbnails and stuff or and to film my into the forest uh let's play reveal trailer that's the only time i've ever vacationed to granite falls but other than that i hardly ever use any of the vacation worlds i need to use them more i probably hopefully will i don't know i hardly ever use any of the aspirations because you know it requires so much traveling but i think 
Hopefully, I haven't read all of the other generations of the Into the Forest challenge, but hopefully there's a generation that will force me to use one of those aspirations because that would be a fun new experience because I have not played with any of the um, uh, vacation gameplay aside from vacationing to residential worlds once that came out. Literally haven't vacationed to any of the exclusive vacation worlds. Don't even own Batu because... I, I like Star Wars, but I don't want it in my Sims game. That I draw the line there. Honestly, I think that Outdoor Retreat might be a good contender for a possible refresh. Obviously, there are other packs that I think would be more valuable if they were refreshed, like Get to Work or Dine Out. Those things already have a solid foundation that interests most people. Like, everyone loves the idea of running a restaurant, it's just the restaurants are super buggy, so if they did a refresh, they could improve upon that and get to work. That was the very first pack that came out, had so much potential, and could probably benefit from adding new features that they are capable of now since its release. And speaking of get to work, obviously that is coming up, and I'm not sure what I should do for the, the, that the, the thing. Like, should I, how many get to work sims should I create? Because there are so many careers, I'm kind of leaning towards making some renaissance sims who kind of want to be jacks of all trades and try all of the careers and kind of, you can play with them and put them in whatever career you want and they can just be very versatile. And then of course I'll make aliens. So I'll probably at minimum make two get to work videos. One for human sims who want to try all the careers and then another one for making aliens because I hardly ever make aliens. But aliens are actually pretty fun. Like you can get pretty creative with the types of species that you mimic or create. I once made a not so berry alien where her skin was blue you know, for the mint generation, and I inspired her off of a picture I saw where the skin and the hair kind of almost seamlessly blended together, so I tried to match that, and I really liked that vibe, and I kind of want to do that again with the, uh, one of the, with, with when I, you know, <laughs> when I do the get to work one pack cast for aliens, because I think that would be a fun experience, because I do not play with or create aliens enough. That is probably my least used occult. Although, actually, I think I don't use the occults very much in general. But yeah, I'd say aliens are my least used occult. I probably shouldn't be talking about this in the Outdoor Retreat video, but honestly, I don't have much to say about Outdoor Retreat other than that they were a bitch to clothe because the just, it was, uh, the clothing options were abysmal and very lacking. They've definitely gotten better since then, but, um, yeah, aliens are probably my least used occult, and I use all the other occults more, but even not that much. I usually default to a regular sim uh, nowadays, although I will say that I've definitely used mermaids and spellcasters a lot more than aliens and vampires, because actually, no, I think vampires might be on par with those three. Just aliens just don't, they don't have enough to do, you know? Like, vampires and spellcasters got their whole, you know, tier system and rank system and, like, their getting their skills and, like, their uh, occult abilities. But aliens, they really suffered from being the first to come out. I think that's something that they should change if they ever refreshed Get Together, because th the aliens are very lacking. Same with mermaids. Mermaids are also lacking, but at least they are fun and pretty and they can swim in water and actually they're pretty cool when you're doing a rags to riches because you can do things really easily with mermaids when you're playing a rags to riches where was i going with this oh yeah also i haven't bought werewolves yet so i don't have an opinion on werewolves but i hear it's good in general like that just the the rankings or like the, their their tier system their ability system is a lot better than vampires, so I kind of wish that they just applied that system to vampires, because I'm not sure if I'd play with werewolves very often. I mean, I was really drawn to the cast when I saw the, you know, overviews from YouTubers and stuff, but overall, I, I feel like they would just get cumbersome, because I wouldn't use them enough to warrant having them in my game 24-7. So that's why I haven't bought that pack. See, I'm just talking about every single pack except for Outdoor Retreat in this video. This is ridiculous. I I really don't use Outdoor Retreat enough. I should probably use that more. But I do love the cloud gazing. But that cloud gazing isn't isn't worth $20. I don't why <sighs>
Honestly, Outdoor Retreat really needs a refresh in order for it to be worth the price nowadays, because Spa Day has skyrocketed to like my number two spot in terms of game pack. Um, maybe it, honestly, I feel like I use it more intention intentionally more than Parenthood, but Parenthood just kind of overall throughout my gameplay, I use it all the time and I feel like I couldn't live without it. So that's why I hesitate to put Spa Day in the number whatever spot, in the number one spot, because I just feel like I wouldn't be able to justify it. Anyways, we are running out of time. I, wow, I had nothing to say and somehow I have run out of time in this speed cast. So I'm going to leave you off here and end this voiceover and I hope you have a lovely day. And I will not see you because this is a parasocial relationship, but you will at the very least hear me in another video. Goodbye.